Hi, I'm Rhett Evans. I'm the Embedded System Sales Manager for Anders. I've been in the industry for 15 years and I've been working for Anders for 12 years. Well, the upsurge in the Internet of Things, coupled with the significant price reductions in 32-bit ARM-based processors, has caused a seismic shift in the way companies are now designing their products. Embedded systems in the past, which used 16-bit or even 8-bit processors, are now being replaced with much, much more powerful processors, or certainly complemented, and creating a gateway front-end driving a large, high-resolution TFT and very often, in fact, in the vast majority of cases, customers want to implement a touchscreen for added versatility. In short, producing more with less. Their customers are demanding ever increasingly sophisticated display interfaces and communications, but giving them less time to do it in. The main challenge is often software debugging because to really debug software, it needs to run on the embedded hardware it's been designed for. Uh, and if the hardware design slips by a few months, but the product launch date remains fixed, then it's very often the software debugging stage that gets squeezed. Well, the biggest challenges we find with most embedded projects is software. And while the hardware is capable of doing it on paper, making it happen in software is generally the biggest challenge. Uh, for instance, recently we had to drive two different resolution displays off the same motherboard um, and get the touchscreen just to work on the smaller display and ignore the larger display. Now, this was an extended desktop, so really as far as the touchscreen was concerned, it was all one screen. So we had to map the touchscreen area only to the smaller screen and ignore the larger screen. And that sounds more straightforward than it actually was. And that proved quite a challenge, but because we have in-house in Linux engineers and fairly proficient ones at that, we managed to crack it. Well, we can offer them tried and tested embedded hardware and software systems ready to run with touchscreens that allow them to skip the pain of getting a system up and running so they can move directly to their software development. And in-house, we have electronic engineers, software engineers and mechanical engineers who can assist them with that development.